Our 11th speaker is Garrett Stack, whose title is Damning the Romantics. Many of you may have heard of John Muir. He's one of uh, America's most famous environmentalists. He was the patron saint of Yosemite Valley. He was one of the most prolific transcendental writers and romantic writers of the uh, turn of the century. Uh, he also had a really great beard. Um, but what you may not know is that John Muir actually didn't like advocating uh, for wilderness preservation. For John Muir, wilderness was worth saving because they were sublime places. They were the only places on earth where you could clearly see God's hand reaching down, scooping out mountains, creating valleys and rivers. John Muir preferred to show his subjects these places, take them to them, uh, Roosevelt, uh, Thoreau. He brought them with him to these places and let the wilderness speak for themselves. The problem is that when you're faced with a voting electorate who you can't take with you to the valleys, to the mountains, you have a little trouble making your point. Inside this picture is Hetch Hetchy Valley. In the early part of the 20th century, the Sierra Club and John Muir lost a debate over whether or not Hetch Hetchy Valley should be dammed. In the background, you see the result. This is the O'Shaughnessy Dam. Hetch Hetchy Valley is now a lake for half of the year and a mud puddle for the other half. Interestingly enough, 20 years on, the Sierra Club wins a major debate in a similar situation. And if, have any of you ever been to a Dinosaur National Park? New tires on the border? Three people. <laughs> Dinosaur National uh, Park, Dinosaur National Monument is now one of our most famous national parks. It doesn't have the pole of Yosemite, the Grand Canyon, uh, Yellowstone. But Sierra Club was able to rally enough support for it that they prevented a dam from going into a relatively unknown place. Hetch Hetchy, right now, is uh, based on current science. Um, geological engineering, popular public opinion, not a necessary water source for the city of San Francisco. The purpose of its damming no longer exists. My study attempts to look at the language change between the O'Shaughnessy Dam and the Echo Park Dam and Dinosaur National Monument to figure out how the strategies changed. What I'd like to establish is a, a means and practices where scientists and environmentalists can get together and make logical arguments for a public that is not as aware of all the issues as specialists are. And we see it today in our modern climate change debates. Scientists are uh, of a consensus, right? But we can't actually see it in the public, and we're still debating about it. My research seeks to give people a way to remove this picture and bring the O'Shaughnessy Dam down so that we can have Hetch Hetchy like it was through making logical, valid arguments to a public. Thank you very much.